Hey, Gemini, this is Nikki with your weekly timeless reading. I hope it resonates even just a little bit. Don't forget you all to like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to start this reading off with a spirit animal card. So we're going to get started. I'm going to ask the spirit guides to give me clear, concise, white light energy for you. So we're going to get started. Spirit animal for you is your personal choice, okay? Personal choice. So this is not a spirit animal for you, but personal choice for you, okay? This is the first time I got this card for anybody. I think I did it once in a personal reading, okay? Close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strategies are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. So whatever animal you feel when you close your eyes, you see that's your spirit animal, okay? Your personal choice, okay? Okay. Spirit guys, give me messages, please, for the Gemini. There are messages. It's timeless. Clear concise message, the white light energy for Gemini, High Priestess, your inner truth, your inner wisdom, following what you know on your insides, okay, your inner guidance. We have the Three of Pentacles. You know, it's like you're being led to, to learn new things, to really uh, go with them, but, but to be taught, be coachable, learn new things about yourself. Learn that you can do things that make you uncomfortable, but it's for your good. Don't turn your back on learning new things, okay? King of Swords. You tend to talk yourself out of a lot of things because of the way you think, your thought process. It's like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. That's your personal choice, okay? Page of Swords. It's, it's a, lot of, a lot of thoughts. It's like you're the King of Swords and the Page of Swords. It's like... You're not living up to your potential because of what you think about yourself, okay? You don't think you'll be able to pull it off. You don't think that you can do it. You don't think that you can live a higher, on higher levels of energy. The Hierophant. This is you tapping into your energy, tapping into your mother wit, okay? Give me a message, please, for Gemini. You know, being taught, being coachable, this probably too also means going to school, learning new things. This could mean you also learning something on a, on the job, maybe on the job training. Got the Ace of Swords here. You know, you're all in your thoughts. It's all thoughts and no actions. But yes, your choice. You can do what you want to do, okay? Embrace these qualities. What wisdom can this animal who you think about show you? When you close your eyes at the beginning of this reading, what animal did you see, okay? The two, the two of Wands. You don't know what, what direction to take. You don't know if what you're learning about yourself. Is it the truth? Are you lying to yourself about your abilities? Okay. You know, you're seeking the inner truth, burning the, lighting the flame that's already inside of you. The Eight of Cups, going in different directions with your thoughts, with your emotions. Don't let your pride keep you and hold you back. You have this inner truth that's beckoning you, that's, that's saying, come out, I'm here for you. I want to show you this new way of living, this new way of thinking, okay? Being coachable. You got the two of swords. You're all in your head about stuff. You're all in your head. You don't know what direction to take. Clarify the high priestess for Gemini. Clarify the high priestess, please, for Gemini. The lovers. Okay, we got the lovers here. You're thinking about a lover? Yeah. You don't know what direction. You're by yourself, but you want to be in a connection with somebody. If you are in a new connection, you, you have to go within and think, you know, is this person for me? Does this person serve my higher good? Are we going to be a power couple or am I going to stay single by myself? Okay. Maybe you meet this person at work. Is it a good idea to date somebody at work for you? You know? But maybe this person is your boss and they're showing you what to do. And you say, damn, this person is fine. I'm attracted to this motherfucker. Got the star card. Okay. Got the uh, three of swords. But you're used to being, I don't think that you like to fail. You don't like to fail. But your thoughts allow you to fail because when you listen to your inner truth, then you won't have to worry about failing. But for whatever reason, you let your thoughts hold you back. But that's your personal choice. Okay, that's your personal choice. It's like you let your thoughts hold you back and help and hold you from moving on with your life. But you're the star. It's like you have this purity, this self-assurance about yourself. 
but you let your thoughts cast out and, and doubt and push you into directions you don't need to be in. Okay, it pushes you into a dark place in your life because of the way you think. Okay, I want to pull a, a spirit animal card for you since we have a personal choice. Close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? So I'm going to help you along and pull a spirit animal card for you. Now, I pulled a card earlier before I started, but I had a lot, a lot of them fall out. But one of them that fell out was the heron, and I had to put it back because there was so many that fell out. So give me a spirit card, please. For the Gemini. Spirit card for Gemini, please. Spirit, spirit animal. Okay, we got two. We got the otter, which is happiness, and we got the penguin, penguin, which is authentic. So you can take the choice in being a sea otter or a penguin. Okay? Whichever one resonates with you the most. Okay? We have the sea otter, which is happiness. Be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy every day. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. Your good destiny of love is sure. So if that person that you're hooking up with, you think they're good for you, they're good. If you think that they're not, let them go. Same thing with the work situation. We got Penguin, which is authentic, okay? Reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations and just be yourself. But that's your personal choice. What animal do you imagine what strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities of both happiness and authenticity. All right. I hope this message resonates with you, Gemini. I'll talk to you later.